Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to sort information from the Coral Literature List. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up your browser and bring up the list. And that's tinyurl.com slash coral literature list. Then just hit enter. And then all the songs are going to pop up that people have entered. Hopefully you've entered some. Um, as part of your t-test goals. It really helps all of us if we have a lot more entries. The next thing you're going to do is open a new tab and this is so you can log into your own Google account. If you don't already have um, a Google account then you can go to accounts.google.com slash sign up like I did here and fill out all your information um, you don't have to make your a brand new email address with Gmail. You can use your current email address so you don't have to make a whole new account um, with Gmail. But most of you probably already have one. So you're just going to sign in like you normally would. And bring up your account. Now, when you sign into your Google account, you're going to come over here to this grid, or some people call it a waffle, I don't know, um, and click on that. And most of the time when I log in, sheets will come up, but every once in a while I can't find this little green icon to save my life. So then I have to go to Drive, and you're going to go right over here to New. And just click on New and say Create a new Google Sheet. Very simple. Now this is going to be your blank sheet that um, you can sort and do anything you want to with all the information. Now we're going to have to go back to the Coral Literature List and sometimes it logs me out. Well most times now and I just say sign back in and it lets me back in. I don't know if it'll do that to you or not. And there it goes. Um, so to copy all the music, oh look we have a, a visitor on the list. So hi visitor, this, when you see all these different icons up here, different colors and things, that means those are people in, that are looking at the list. So if we're going to copy all this information, you're going to go over to this gray box and just click on it and that selects everything on the list. You're going to say edit and copy. You're going to go over to the spreadsheet you made and you're going to say edit and paste. Now this it, it takes a long time, so you don't need to keep clicking and think, oh my gosh, I didn't do it right, because it eventually will pop up, and the longer the list gets, um, the longer it's going to take. There it is. So look at all that music. It's so exciting. And so your, your brain goes, oh, I want to start sorting stuff. You can't quite sort it yet. I mean, you can, but I can show you some easier ways to sort things. The first thing we need to take care of is we're going to delete this A column, and I'll tell you why um, in just a second. So we'll edit and delete that column because we need to freeze a couple columns here and it'll only link goes up to two for some reason. So let's freeze the row first. So view, freeze one row. And now we're going to select column A and column B. And we're going to view and freeze two columns. Now if you're not on a Mac, if you're on a regular PC, you can freeze three or four or five columns, but on a Mac, for some reason it only goes up to two. But on a regular computer, just it says you can right click and select them, but I don't know how to right click on a Mac, so that's why I had to delete that first column. And the reason we do that is so that you can scroll over and the first two columns stay in place, because those are important columns that you're going to be looking at. You need the title and the composer and stuff and then you can uh, move everything else. Okay, we're almost ready to start sorting stuff. Now I'm going to show you why you don't want to leave it like this because um, you can't really, there are no choices right now to sort that column. So what you're going to have to do is go up here to data. This is probably the most important step. Say data and filter and these magic upside down triangles show up. Now let's start picking some music. It's really fun. Um, let's pick something for our treble choir. And the first thing I do is I just clear all this stuff. You don't have to do that. 
I just like to have a blank slate. And I'm looking for SSA music. And there are many options are going to come up because some songs have multiple voicings. So you're going to see there are um, lots of choices. So I'm going to select everything that has SSA in it so that I don't miss anything. Because I would hate to miss some awesome song that you submitted. Wow, there's a lot. Okay, I'm not quite ready for those big ones. S S A A T T B B. <laughs> not my school. And I'm going to say, okay. So it took out anything that didn't have an SSA listing. And let's pick, um, how about let's just do secular since a lot of schools have to do a lot more secular music. And let's pick a foreign language. Let's clear all that out. Um, uh oh, English is misspelled. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, French for sure. German, my favorite. Oh, I like Italian too. I like Spanish. Okay, let's just, let's limit it at that and say, okay. And wow, look at all those SSA, SSA songs that meet the criteria. Um, now, I might want to go through here at the difficulty level. Most OC, like grade four. I know I'm not, I'm not doing that. That Chante Adieu. Oh, but it's amazing. So you should do it. It's a great song. Stilvini Nacht is a great song. And so I'm going to look over here. It's good for my fall concert or for contest. Um, it has a piano accompaniment. It's a slow, pretty song, of course. Um, it's in major. Um, lots of comments about the song. Region 25 did it. And then, look, I can see right here that there's a recording. I can just click on this link and listen to a little bit of this most beautiful song. Still wie die Nacht by Carl Böhm, arranged by Sherry Porterfield. That's a really pretty song. Okay, um, then let's go back to the spreadsheet and let me show you the next column, which is so important. Um, it doesn't have for Still wie die Nacht, but uh, let's pick another song. Let's look at the Chante Adieu. We had a big fight if the, the S was alighted over, the Z was alighted over. We voted to leave it silent, so we said chante adieu. Um, so see, I can see the music on this one. It's really nice. And hear the song as well. So it's a great way to look for literature. Now, you think, oh my gosh, where did all the other music go? You can just do undo all of these um, arrows back, the undo arrow, until you're back to your original one. Oops, I went one too far. I want those triangles to come back. There we go. And now I'm right back to my original list. Now there's really no reason for you to save the list because it's going to be updated hopefully on a regular basis with everyone entering their music. Uh, so you're going to want to come back before each, t each session that you're sitting down to look at music and copy and paste the new entire list into a a new um, document of your own. I mean, you could save this if you want to, file, save, or just you name it and all of all of that business and save it to, let's say you're gonna be on a long plane ride and you want to have it on your laptop, you can, you can save it directly to your laptop, you're gonna be working offline, of course you can do that. Um, but remember, always come back and get the most updated list. I hope you enjoy the choral literature list and that you find some great music. And again, please make sure you Put your entries in there so we have some wonderful literature to, to select from. Have a great day and have some wonderful concerts. Bye-bye.